potato cakes. Here. <laughs> I mean, what, what did you oh, hand yeah. this to me for anyway? It was, like it was over here. Oh, okay. I was thinking you were going to need it I was over like, there. Well, I had to check myself or something anyway. <laughs> hey, we're back I in the kitchen. You could do that. Use Pam under the yeah. armpits. It'd be better than deodorant. It, it probably has better than the chemicals if it's just olive <laughs> oil or something. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> yes, we're back. and uh, Yes, we are. What are we doing? Doing some uh, potato cakes, uh, potato okay. pancakes. Uh, this right here is just some leftover boiled potatoes, and I just turn them into hash browns. All right. And um, in fact, I think I'm going to have you mix everything else in that one. I got ahead of myself, didn't I? Um, well, it'll work either way. Do that? It will work either way. Put all these ingredients in here. All of it? Do you want yeah. the whole thing? We're just going to mix this baby up. You want everything? Empty. Yeah, why not? Ooh. So we've got some flour. And I see you grab the gluten-free flour because she wants to try it. Well, yeah. Yeah. You know, folks, I would eat wheat. It's not that I don't like it. It just doesn't like me. Mm -hmm. But finding out that I can try a Costco right now, Mark, has an amazing ancient grain gluten-free hmm. bread. I've tried it, and it doesn't bother me. So oh. it's been proven, and they did a study at the Mayo Clinic about it, that they feel like a lot of this... Uh, sensitivity to um, wheat and gluten that people are having since it wasn't a problem before the 1950 or late 1950s uh, is genetic modification and all these pesticides. I wouldn't doubt it. Okay, now I did add a little water to it. I just wanted to soften it up a little you want bit. To soften. A little too dry. Uh, so we've got peppers in here. We've Love got two that. different types of onions, red mm -hmm. and green. Mm -hmm. Uh, we've got the flour, and then we did some ground flaxseed and uh, water. And I know you're not whipping that. You're more folding it in because you want to keep the consistency of your hash browns right. right. But that now, looks pretty good, Now, are you putting it? any of the salt, garlic, we onion? Can. Yes. Uh, salt. I got some chunks in there, though. You know what? That's Himalayan, and it's been ground up, so it does stick together a little bit. Garlic. Onion. Of course, you've got onion in here already right. mm -hmm. but there's a difference between the Powered. powdered onions and raw onions that's true yes, in fact sir. technically there's five different flavors to an onion we've talked about this before mm -hmm. officially five different flavors of an onion you have raw mm -hmm. translucent golden brown and dark brown so oh, yes and if the recipe says use golden onions you either need to saute it or bake it off until it gets that golden coloring because it's completely different flavors mm -hmm. and then the um, powders mm -hmm. taste totally different too so mm -hmm. yeah it's really cool I love onions the way they just uh, have such a uh, uh, variety of flavor okay so for potato pancakes normally you're gonna have a hot 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 pan that's just what they do in the uh, gourmet restaurants for potato pancakes and you are just gonna put those pancakes in there just like this and I think I'll just get three or four going here. And you're not going to move them around. You're going to let them sit there. They are just going to... Right. And uh, so we'll do four of them here. And they're supposed to be a little sloppy on the sides. That's just what they do. Uh, you don't want them looking all perfect. So what do you think? Something like that should do. I think that looks good. Now, Mark, mm -hmm. if I wanted to really watch my oil and cut down on that, can we cook them in the oven, do you think? Is there a way that we Let's could Let's try it. Um, I've got a pan here. You can just hit it with some parchment paper. and and uh, Let's try a couple different sizes, too. See what, um, okay. see what you come up with there. Melody wants to experiment. Melody's always experimenting. You know what, though, Mark? How, how else do you... I've come up with some of my greatest, I think, recipes by just making mistakes uh -huh. off of an original yeah. recipe. You know what I'm saying? Now, normally the regular potato pancakes is mm -hmm. not going to have all the vegetables in it. Right. It will just have the spices, and then they usually serve it with like an applesauce or something like that. Okay. Yeah, for a little dipping type of thing. Um, hand me some pan. I want to spray just a little bit on here. <laughs> or your deodorant, whichever. All right, and so I just want to get. I don't wear deodorant. I don't either. I don't. You'll, you'll find out interesting. People that eat healthy don't, don't stink like people that now, eat all that grease and Mark, animal fat. When my diet was yeah. bad, 
I use deodorant and I needed it, yeah, but I don't yeah, perspire like that anymore. And yeah. if I do use anything, it's like a liquid rock mm -hmm. because I don't want aluminum products, yeah. you know? And you know, this is something I thought I love of. it. This, I think this is gonna work out perfect. The armpit, okay. It releases toxins from the body. So if you stop that process, where are those toxins going? Hmm. I don't know. Think about that. Could be going to the brain, making it so you can't <laughs> think right. Maybe. You're all polluted by toxins. Okay, looks like you're gonna get six. And um, And I'm gonna go pop these in the oven. Real what do you quick. think? Six? I think this is good. Okay. You know, I could see a great ketchup with that. Uh-huh. These are gonna have to go a little bit longer. Sure. But this one looks like it's kind of browning on the back. Yeah, see, it's going to oh, have to go a little bit longer. Yeah, yeah. Um, so let's get these cooked up. We'll okay. get those out of the oven, and then we'll come back and show you the fabulous finished product that we just created out of nothing. I understand now why they call them potato pancakes. Why do they call them potato pancakes? Are we blah. supposed to do a retake? Why, why do they go? That's a tough one. Why do they call them potato <laughs> pancakes? Because you fry them in a pan. Okay, well, yeah. Simple. That's, and, and you can see where it's crispy, too. Yeah, they, I like this. They always like did the it on a hot, them. hot, hot oven, and mm -hmm. you got a blackening type of browning action uh, going on. Now, uh, we okay. had some that we had in the hot, hot oven. In the oven, okay. Yes. And if you want, you can grab a, another plate there. And these are right out of the oven, too, so they're a little on the toasty side. How, did, how did they do on the back side? Look at the differences. Um, not, not bad. bad. Not, not bad. bad. Yeah, because these have no oil. Sometimes they will be cooked more on the bottom, right? Like Sometimes you're thinking. they. Yeah. Right. Is that whether it's on the top of the uh, rack or on yeah. the bottom? We don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Like nice. Like the way they look. So these are without oil, and these were fried with oil. Right. You know, Mark. Texture-wise, I don't think it's worth the extra calories and fat. I and don't either. And, I don't either. Uh, more carcinogenic too when you get up to those higher temperatures. Sure. So. And, and I'll tell you something else about this. Make a lot. Double, triple your recipe, I think. Put it in the freezer and just pop them in the toaster. <laughs> oh, we have got to try that. Uh, seriously. What a great idea. I mean, why not? Mom's in a hurry. Oh, She's man. working, got kids off to school. We should make them a little bit bigger then. Square. Try this at home. I want to hear from you. Mm -hmm. and find out how well this works for you. Mm -hmm. uh, and make them so they fit in the toaster, mm -hmm. freeze them. Just pop them in. When they're frozen right. or when they're thawed. We'll have to double check on that double too. Because some things frozen, some things thawed. Mm -hmm. Wow, I love it. Yeah, love simplicity, it. simplicity. Now I do have some uh, sour cream. I've seen that. And then I did a little of this peach ginger fruit. Okay. Which I love this. <laughs> It actually says no, no pectin. pectin. Oh dear, God forbid. <laughs> pectin everywhere. I've been telling people this for years now and everybody's like, you're crazy. I said, you watch, pectin mm -hmm. free is gonna go like crazy all over the country and nobody's even heard about it right now. But you're gonna remember when we said this, we've been saying it for years A now. A long time. And pectin free, pec that means you cannot eat fruit anymore. Yeah, I guess fruit's not good. You know? But it's okay for pizza to be a vegetable on right. a kid's menu. Right, see sure. Satan wants you to be unhealthy. And our job is to bring out the truth and the realities of what's really going on out there, mm -hmm. show you the deceptions, and really show you how to get healthy and how to live as healthy as we are, even at yeah. our age. You know, so it really is our a benefit. Age. But... <laughs> I'm young. Why? Well, I, <laughs> I wake up in the morning, I don't have any creaks, creaks or whatever, you know, er, er, er. sometimes my knee does that. It's like, I told my husband the other day, I said, do you hear that clicking? It's my knee. <laughs> Just laughed about it. Now, this <laughs> is the tofu sour cream. Yeah, sour cream is really good because it's a potato. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Good idea. Usually, sour cream or applesauce mm -hmm. is what we do in restaurants. Mm hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Have you, you tried this yet? I have. It's really good. You like it? I don't know if you're going to like it, though. It's kind of a gingery. You're not a big ginger fan. No, I'm not a ginger fan, am I? You want to try it? Yeah. You know what they call a redhead there when she's mad, no, I'm don't kidding. you? I'm just messing with you. A redhead when she's mad is a ginger snap. <laughs> I wasn't going to give you that much. <laughs> well, I want to try it first. Okay. We'll give you a little. I, I love a good fruit spread. I think it's good. It's different. Mm -hmm. But it's unique. 
That means stick with the applesauce. <laughs> Peach. Mm. I just and ginger. Don't I just don't care for maybe a little ginger in some Asian food, but I'm not a ginger girl, not at all. Not for a cold. Uh, it, you know what ginger is good uh, for though? Mm. Bad breath. You can use ginger for bad breath. I can tell already. It works. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I brush my teeth all the time. That's not true. Yeah. People anyway, that eat healthy don't have bad breath. I think we're going to let you go <laughs> and invite you to come back into the kitchen with Mark and Melody. Well, we're going to have something crazy to cook or maybe even some really good ideas you that you can incorporate. Concepts. That's mm -hmm. exactly right. But come join us next time.